Warren was out on bail when the murders happened. Previously, he was arrested for domestic violence allegations in March. Tonight, though, efforts are underway to improve protections for victims of domestic violence in Washington state. A bill sponsored by a survivor of domestic violence is on its way to the Senate floor. Fox 12's Anna Katayama joins us now live with more on that story. Anna. Yes, Pete and Nora, Representative Lauren Davis spent hundreds of days worried about her safety, hiding from an ex-boyfriend who threatened to harm her. So she knows firsthand the difficulty of finding protection from domestic violence, and she's focused now on helping other women not suffer the same fate. I cannot underscore how painful of an experience it has been crawling my way through our state's civil and criminal domestic violence systems. State Representative Lauren Davis says she spent months in safe houses in an effort to escape an ex-boyfriend, a prominent lobbyist who was eventually barred from the state capitol. Domestic violence homicide is actually the most predictable form of homicide, and if you can predict something, you can prevent it. Davis created House Bill 1715, aimed at preventing domestic violence homicides like the ones that Kirkland Warren is accused of committing. Miche Melendez had a protective order against Warren, but investigators accuse him of killing her and her daughter anyway. Representative Davis hopes to expand GPS monitoring of offenders across the state, create a right to counsel for low-income survivors, and strengthen civil protection orders. We're doing the opposite of what this building is supposed to do. This building is supposed to protect all of us. Outside the Clark County Courthouse, Miche Melendez's family questioned why more could not have been done to protect Miche and Layla. It's a sentiment shared by Representative Davis, who says 40 to 60 percent of protection orders are violated. Our cemeteries are full of women who had protection orders. We know that having a protection order is actually a risk factor for domestic violence homicide. One quarter of women that are murdered by intimate partners had an active protection order at the time of the homicide. I uh, fully intend to spend the rest of my legislative career ensuring that um, victims, particularly victims of gender-based violence, uh, are treated more appropriately. Representative Davis is a strong believer in GPS monitoring when it comes to protecting survivors of domestic violence. But right now in the state of Washington, that technology is only available in two counties. That would be right here in Clark County and in King County. Live at the Clark County Courthouse, Anna Katayama, Fox 12, Oregon. Okay.